Are you excited about all the stuff that they're going to do along Plank Road and how uh, it's going to affect Osceola? Uh huh. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited. I, yeah. We can make our community better just sticking together and being like one, you know, yeah. and like getting more schools, teaching, like having people involved and stuff. When we look at cities all across America, when communities come together, when we begin to invest in all communities, it helps out our city as a whole. Our decision to focus on Plank Road was an easy one. Baton Rouge's history literally runs through Plank Road. At one point, it was a busy commercial corridor frequented by everyone across race, class, and geography. Now, it's the most blighted corridor in the city. The history of Plank Road stretches back to the early 1800s. Plank Road was a primary route for the transport of enslaved persons and goods from the plantations north of the city to the river docks downtown. In the early 1900s, Standard Oil transformed Plank Road into a modern commercial corridor. Plank Road runs through the heart of North Baton Rouge. The differences between North and South Baton Rouge are stark. South Baton Rouge is one of the most affluent places in all of Louisiana. North Baton Rouge is one of the most impoverished. What we see on Plank Road today is a reflection of those disparities and challenges. For me, I feel like Plank Road is like, like a conduit, like a heartbeat. A pulse for North Baton Rouge. Over the past decade, community activists, business leaders, and elected officials have all advocated for increased investment in North Baton Rouge. Our mission at Build Baton Rouge is to promote equitable investment and innovative development. So we knew we had to turn our attention to Plank Road. In this area, it's a different feel from when I was growing up. And what Imagine Plank Road is trying to do and try to bring back life into this area, I think that is absolutely amazing. When I think of my vision of peace, prosperity, and progress for our city, I know that can only happen when we lift up those neighborhoods that have been left behind. Our city cannot grow and prosper if we do not invest in those disinvested communities. At the end of the day, whether it's North Baton Rouge or any other area of our community, we're all affected. Interest has not been lost. They're talking about revitalizing architecture, revitalizing, giving us a culture to remember. Too many of us have forgotten. I just love to see the memories brought back. Plank Road has the makings of a great neighborhood. There's transit, buildings built to the street, and walkability. That's overshadowed by blight, vacancy, and decay. We therefore focused on improving infrastructure, sparking new development, and increasing the overall quality of life. We wanted to ensure this planning effort was community-led. So we held a series of events, meetings, and outreach efforts to not only hear from local residents, but also to ensure that local businesses were employed in the planning process. One of the biggest assets in any community planning effort is the history, culture, and stories of the people who live there. Therefore, our focus was not just revitalization, but preservation as well. You see a lot of opportunity, a lot of vacant land, uh, a lot of passion. Plank Road, Scotlandville Avenue, they used to be so much more than what they are right now. What we heard from the community led to the development of five equity metrics. Amplifying culture and history, sustaining and growing jobs, protecting and growing community wealth, building connectivity, and strengthening infrastructure to improve health and safety. We also identified various sites along Plank Road where Bill Baton Rouge or other community partners have opportunities for new development or substantial renovation.
What we learned through this process was that people from the neighborhoods of Plank Road and indeed throughout the city love Baton Rouge. Our future is bright and we have our work cut out for us. But people are coming together. And it's that spirit of coming together that will spark new life on Plank Road and in turn create a more equitable, vibrant, and humane future for us all. You can still have a high quality of life, live in North Baton Rouge, live off Plank Road. We have so many young people here, just like my kids right here, that are helping us I'll push this message out there. It doesn't take much, it just takes like a must to see the people. I just love to see the memories brought back. It's about educating young people, it's about mentoring young people, but it's also about changing and transforming communities. And why not start in North Baton Rouge? Why not start on Plank Road?